there's a reason why I do Facebook shows. That's <laughs> because I'm terrified to talk in front of people. So oh, oh, you got this. Yes. Bear with me. He's so cute. You know, they asked me to, to speak about recruiting from Facebook shows, and I do 99%. I rarely do cooking shows for this exact reason. Pull your mic up. So Pull your mic up. Get your mic closer. Yeah. You're not okay. <laughs> anyway, so when they asked me, I panicked a little bit, and I told Stacy, I said, I know that I must do this. I must recruit because I have a team, so I must recruit. I'm not sure how. So I had to really dig down and figure out what it was that I was doing consistently on a regular basis, whether it was working or not. Something's working, so I'm grateful for that. So the first thing I really do is I keep an eye on like what you said, I keep an eye on Facebook. I want to see what people are saying. And I call it listening, it's not listening, I'm reading. I want to see the person that's posting pictures of food all the time. I want to see the person who's talking about how they just lost their job. I want to see the person who's talking about how they can't afford their kids' tuition. Those are the people that I look for, and those are the people that I don't target them, but I might want to make a comment to them. And I might want to say something casual. I don't know how I say it, but anyway. <laughs> and I also will post something on Facebook about the business, and I try not to do that very often either because people begin to not read what you're putting in there if you do it too often. How many of you guys have seen other companies who are posting every single day, two or three times a day, and are you reading them? I mean, I don't even want to read my own half the time. I get really tired of seeing the same thing all the time. So, of course, I'm not looking for another company. Maybe if I was, I might be reading them a little bit more. But when you're seeing the same thing all the time, you're really not paying attention to it. So I like to post something about our company, especially when we have a new incentive, um, when we have something exciting going on at the company, then I like to post about that. So that's another thing that I do. And that's on the public Facebook wall. Very rarely will you ever get someone who will just say, oh, I want to join. I saw your I want to join. They don't. The truth is, you don't know ever who's seen your posts. Um, very recently, two people have joined my team that I haven't heard from in a year. I did shows for them a year ago, more than a year ago, one of them. And all of a sudden, she messaged me. She said, you know, I keep seeing your posts. I'm ready now. Mm -hmm. And I was just really so surprised. So I think, I think a lot of it has to do with it being cumulative. And the more that you're speaking and the more that they see that you're serious about your business and that you're not a fly-by-night consultant or you're just doing this for the heck of it or you're doing three companies at once or four or more, they are more likely to approach you because they know that you're serious. And that's really important to me. And, and it is true. They, you just don't know who's looking to So in my shows, Facebook shows, I do six six-day Facebook shows. That's pretty much all I do. And I will drop hints through my show. I will say, this is this is the real pan. I got mine for free <laughs> because my company's so awesome. And that's all I have to say. Somebody might read that later. They might think about it. Um, I talk about my story, my why, what Pampered Chef has done for my life, for me. And I, I post this. I got three granddaughters. I like to buy them stuff whenever I feel like it, <laughs> and I can now. I can spoil the heck out of them because they're not my kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's all good. Plus the fact that it gives me a sense of accomplishment when I can say that I have succeeded in my business in one way or another. And we all, you know, have a gift. I see other people that do things that I wish I could do. And it's not, they might see what I'm doing. They wish that I didn't do this. Um, in my shows, I will always talk about the company. I gush about the company. And I, I really do apologize for gushing, but I say, look, this is the way it is. I feel this way about my company. You know, I'm not gonna apologize for it, but this is how it is. I also love to tell people, why wouldn't you try this? You're gonna get a kit full of products. Give us a try for 90 days. And so many companies out there have to buy their way in if they don't like it or if they don't do well. They can't just walk away like we can. We know they're going to love it, but they don't know that. And they also don't believe you when you tell them how easy it is. So you have to somehow make them believe that that's the way it is. Um, 
the fact that you, I, we know a couple of people that have had to pay to stay at the other company, and that's really sad. And I, I don't understand how anybody can do that. I also, the big thing that I love to do, and I also use a graphic for every single thing that I post in a Facebook show has a graphic to go along with it because people don't read what you write. So I have a post that's called Help is on the Way. For the people who say they don't have any money, I know that if they wanted to join bad enough, they could come up with $99 or $109 or whatever it is now if they wanted to. That's not a lot of money. For some people, though, I know that it might be. So I post Help is on the Way, and I talk about the kit credit, which is a wonderful thing. They may not think it's enough, but it's enough to help. And then I say in parentheses, and there's also other help available if you need it. That's something that I don't post in the shows, what that other help is, but I have to talk to a person and I have to, to really kind of get a sense of how, how honest they're being with me, how much they really do want to do it, but maybe they can't come up with the money. Then I may offer to help them a little bit. And I do that by challenging them to first book four parties. I want to see four parties on their schedule or that they can tell me the dates for them. And they have to have at least a $300 show. And at that point, if they do that, I will offer to kick 20% in for their kit, for their kit which is $60. So that would mean their kit's gonna cost them $24 or it used to be 14. Now, if they really wanna do it, that's not worth the $20. So very rarely have I ever done that before, but I, I will do it in some cases. To me, it's worth it, because if they really wanna do it, and if I know they're really gonna go for it, I also look during my shows to the people who are making the comments, like I said before, on the, on the public Facebook feed. The people that will say, oh, Sue, thanks for inviting me, but I'm sorry, I just don't have the money right now to buy anything. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> or the ones that say, I just lost my job, I can't really buy anything. That's all now, and, and that's kind of, it's kind of hard because you're not supposed to really message people that aren't your friends. Facebook really looks down upon that, and people don't like it. They don't like when you send them messages when you're not their friends. So, you sort of might have to make a comment to them. Um, can we talk later? Or, uh, I'm not sure exactly what I would say, but I make sure that I make some kind of comment, and then I might say, I've sent you a message. Check your messages. As long as, I feel like it's okay if you tell them that you've sent them a message. Um, Maybe it is, maybe not. Through Facebook, we never know what they're going to do next. <laughs> <laughs> so I also look for the people that say, oh my gosh, I love Pampered Chef. Who do you know that doesn't like Pampered Chef? Everybody does. So some people will come right in the show and say, oh my gosh, I've been dying to go to a show. I need something. I need this and this and this. Awesome. How long is your list? You know, so I'm either going to try to book a show from them or I'm going to try to recruit them. I think, personally, um, I have recruited my whole team pretty much from Facebook shows. Very few have been, a couple of them have been my friends or a couple neighbors, a family member, who's one of my directors now. Um, but everybody else has been through Facebook shows. And it's usually been quietly. People don't just jump right up and say, I want to join, usually. Um, they, they probably will approach you later. But the most important thing I think you can do, and I don't really have anything else after this, but is compliment your host. Tell your host what a great job she's doing. Tell her it's exactly what my recruiter said to me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your host, I have some hosts that I don't want to recruit. And I can't wait for the show to be over, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just finished one before I left her. <laughs> You're not gonna want to recruit everybody. I know we're supposed to ask everybody, I know that. but. <laughs> so anyway, just tell your host, you are doing a great job. Could you use a little extra money? I say this all the time. You're doing a great job. Have you ever thought about doing something like this? It is so super easy. I can help you. I can tell you exactly how we can move forward. They may not say anything, but two weeks down the line, they might say, you know, maybe we can talk about it. Right. Yeah. But. Yay! <laughs>